Welcome, here we go. So what I wanna to talk to you today about is what is the division algorithm? So I'm gonna kinda of say what exactly the division algorithm is, and then I'm gonna kinda of put it in terms that I think you'll more easily understand. So it says if f of x and d of x are polynomials, such that d of x cannot equal zero, and the degree of d of x is less than or equal to the degree of f of x, there exist unique polynomials q of x and r of x, such that f of x equals d of x times q of x plus r of x, if r of x equals zero, then d of x evenly divides into f of x. Wow, right? So let's try to make this easy. Let's have f of x be a polynomial. And remember, f of x can be a polynomial like this, 12. It's a constant polynomial. So f of x equals 12. Let's pick d of x, which we're going to call our divisor. Let's call d of x equal to 4. So what they're saying is if d of x, all right, as long as it has a less than degree or equal to, so if it's like x squared or x, or these both have a degree of x to the 0, right, because they're constants. So um, it, d of x has to either have less of a degree or the exact same degree. There exists a unique polynomial q of x and r of x such that f of x, so 12, equals 4 times some number. So you can think about this and you can say, all right, well, what is 4, you know, 4 times what equals 12? And we know the answer is going to be 3, right? So we could say that q of x equals 3. And then in this property, in this problem, we could say that r of x, which is going to be your remainder, is going to equal 0, all right? So when looking at this, since we know that r of x is equal to 0, then we know that um, our r of x is going to evenly divide into our polynomial. Now, one last thing I just want to take a look at is let's go ahead and say that now I have f of x um, equals 13. If f of x equals 13 and d of x still equals 4, then we'll have 12 equals 4 times 3. But now our remainder is going to be 1 as r of x equals 1. So we can say that it's not going to divide evenly into it. And remember, our f of x is going to be our dividend. What we could divide into, d of x is going to represent our divisor. q of x represents our quotient, which is like the answer, right? Because 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Or as we write it as a unique polynomial, 4 times 3 equals 12. And then r of x represents our remainder in our problem. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know that all polynomials by the division algorithm can be written in the format of d of x times your q of x plus your remainder equals your dividend or your function f of x. <clears throat> there you go. Hope you helped.